G'day shooters, this little device is a Hike Micro Lynx Pro LE10 and it costs about $200 less than the equivalent thermal spotter did two years ago and it performs two or three times better. If you want proof that thermal imaging technology is improving fast, this is it. Now the Lynx Pro LE10 is exciting because its $800 price tag is within reach of most shooters, justifying thermal vision for people who might only use it occasionally. That $800 price is down from what used to be $1,400 too. A couple of years ago, when the first of this sort of spotter hit the Aussie market, you'd pay about $1,000 for something that didn't have nearly the same image quality as the Lynx Pro. I don't think those early units were really worth it, uh, but now we're getting into the realms of decent value. The Lynx Pro LE10 has the lowest spec of a range of handheld thermal spotters from Hike Micro. Call it entry level. Its sensor is 256 by 192 pixels with 12 micron pixels and temperature sensitivity down to a good 35 millikelvins. At the other end of the unit, it has a 10 mm lens with an f-stop of 1. It provides no optical magnification, maximising the field of view, and there's a digital zoom of up to 8 times. The body is very light at 260 grams and compact enough for a jacket pocket at only 159 mm long. Its battery is built in and will last up to 8 hours, which seems about right in ideal conditions in my experience. It displays red hot, black hot, white and fusion colour palettes. For the display you can also select between a standard detection mode and a jungle or hunting mode, and the latter gives slightly better detection and recognition in the bush. And that brings us to the crucial measure of this thermal spotter, the image quality. The Lynx Pro LE10 is not a patch on thermals that cost a lot more. In this game, you pay for what you get, and this is, remember, an $800 viewer. It'll find things for you though, and that's the crucial thing. Its ability to detect heat is pretty good, but you do need to be patient with it, especially as range increases. Its response is a little delayed, so if you scan around quickly, you'll miss a lot. But if you give the Lynx a few moments at one place, it'll reveal targets that it didn't show up immediately. I could see rabbits at well over 100 metres away with enough background clarity to know that other similar dots of light were actually possums up in trees because I could clearly see the trees. The lynx showed me kangaroos a good 200 metres away, but I struggled to get decent signals at anything like the 450 metre maximum detection range that's claimed. Maybe in better conditions you could, but none that I experienced. The lynx failed to detect a number of targets that a far more expensive thermal saw with ease, but we're talking rabbits at 100 metres and roos at 250 metres. You have to be a lot closer to get good clarity for target identification though. Local knowledge of the ground led me to be fairly sure I was looking at rabbits at 60 metres, but it wasn't until I was at 40 metres that I was certain. A sheep I saw lying down 140 metres away could have been anything until I got a lot closer. The roos at 200 metres were just heat signals, but the point is the Hike Micro will find targets most times, and then it's up to you to identify them properly using other means, such as a spotlight or a night vision scope. Photo and video resolution is 720 by 576 pixels, nothing flash, but good enough for decent playback. The Lynx offers range finding, but it uses the stadiometric system, which is a slow manual method of range estimation. It might be useful if you're using subsonics when range is critical, but for most users I reckon it's probably not that relevant or appealing. Just don't look at the box and think that when it says rangefinder you're getting a laser rangefinder because it's not the case. The LE10 doesn't have focus adjustment for the objective lens, but that's generally not an issue given the relatively short detection range and the F1 aperture. The menu system is easy to use and the buttons logically arranged along the body, but they require a firm press to work. I'd sum up the Hike Micro Lynx Pro LE10 as a decent entry level option that won't break the bank. It's certainly no thorn in the side of more expensive thermals. At this price though, it offers enough image quality to pass muster. It'll find most targets if you don't rush it, and it's more than adequate within about 100 metre range, okay out to 200 metres for most animals, with diminishing results beyond that. As a first time thermal to test the water, or a useful device on a budget, it's worth looking at. If you decide you want more, you can always sell it without losing a fortune and upgrade. But as it is, as an entry level thermal unit at this price, the Lynx Pro LE10 is well worth it. To give you a good idea of why a thermal's a good idea, including an entry level one like this, we would not have seen those pigs if we hadn't had it. We'd have walked straight past about 100 metres away and they'd have got away scot free. We want to thank Mudgee Firearms too for lending us their demo unit. They're our local gun shop and we wouldn't be without them. 
As we said, that's a discounted price at $800 in July 2021, so grab it while you can.